All right, so Rid's been smoking just a little bit, man, only about 30 minutes. I just wanted to show this one thing. This is the pit boss, right? So it says two, what is that? 210 on there. My digital, let's switch back, shows 207. All right, so it's running pretty steady. The other thermometer, which is literally it's it's right here inside the box it's right against this bulkhead here and it says 225 but 205 there 210 there they're uh, I, they always run pretty damn close to each other and then this is what i there's my spritz um hold on and then i use i'm using applewood to smoke all this pork. I like it, it seems to freaking put a nice flavor on the meat. Um, not a super strong smoke flavor. Um, it's just a real nice mild smoke. Um, people ask me why I bought the Pit Boss. Um, I've had, um, Barrel smokers. I've, I've had several different kind of smokers, and um, when I lived out in Arizona, it was easy to get great woods, fruit woods, and 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 mesquite and stuff for us smoking. But out here in California, yeah, I live in California. Kind of sucks. Um, it's I don't know. It hasn't been that easy for me. I've always wanted to try. Um, grape wood from the grapes because I live in wine country um, or very really close to wine country and uh, try to that but I bought the pit boss because there's such a wide variety of pellets that are available out there I've tried a lot of different ones um, and I really like the way that the pellet smokers work they don't overpower I mean you know look at the smokestack okay all this coming out of there is heat. It's not a lot of smoke. It only smokes when it's dropping fresh pellets. Um, I like the way they work. They don't overpower the, the meat with the smoke flavor. Um, and they, I don't know, this pit boss, it holds a super steady temperature. I mean, it fluctuates, say, 15 degrees up and down between, you know, dropping pellets in, the, in it and... Um, but that, to me, that's nothing. You know, with my freaking barrel smokers and the side box, you know, the hot box smokers, I've had several different kinds. Um, and you had to watch them constantly. You know, you couldn't, you really had to watch them constantly. And, and, and it was an all-day job where this, I can actually do other things while I'm smoking and I feel pretty confident. I've got a, you know, I've got the thermometer, which shows the can I see it there there you go that that's the uh, inside temperature right in the middle of the smoker and then that's the meat thermometer and I, and I, and I care I have another wireless one that I carry around that shows me all that as well and I can monitor it wherever and do other things and that's what really 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 sold me on this whole you know pellet smoker because you don't have to pay attention to it just constantly you know you can do other things you know but anyway i'm going to sign off for now um we're running right around 210 to 210 220 right in there which is fine i might bump it up to 225 here i'm going to wait another 30 40 minutes and check the meat and spray it down with the apple cider vinegar apple cider mixture and look at it and see what it's doing. I might bump it up. I might just leave it right where it's at. We'll see. Anyway, for now, that's it. Laters.